Hi friends. So today I'm filming kind of a downer of a video. Um, this is inspired by Chris Sainz. She did a video of 10 pins that if she was starting her collection over, she would not repurchase. Um, and so I thought I'm going to do the same thing because why not? I liked looking at that and I'm actually pretty pleased because I didn't exactly find 10 pins. I mean, it kind of did, but anyway. So, um, let's get going. And I will show you the pin, and I want to state, it's not that any, none of these pins are bad pins. They're all really great. They're just not great for me, um, to be clear. So, I wouldn't hesitate to recommend any of them to other people. Uh, I want to get that out of the way. So, first up, we have this Noodler's pen. I always forget if this is a Conrad or an Ahab. All other issues aside, talking only about the pen, this is a bad choice for me um, because the nib is just like way too fine and I had hoped it would be flexy, but it's really not. Uh, it's, it's a stiff nib. And um, also, I mean, maybe this is something that I shouldn't recommend, but I kept finding ink in the cap. So this pin is the one pin that leaked all over the inside of a really nice pin case that I have and permanently stained the inside. So I wouldn't buy this again because the nib was just not right for me. Um, and I think also, Potentially not great for lefties in general. Could be wrong. So that's coming in. That's our first pin that we'll talk about. We'll just leave them here. The next pen may be surprising. I would not buy my Laban Rainbow Skeleton again because, and this is the only reason, it has a fine nib that cannot be switched out. At least I've checked online and it looks like they sell, like if you wanted a replacement, they sell the section with the nib. So that's a bummer. I'm not getting rid of this pen. So some of these I'm definitely gonna sell or give away. Uh, if you're interested, you can message me, but like this is gonna stay in my collection, but if I had it to do over again, um, I'm, I would buy it in a medium or broad nib. And I think what happened is I wanted medium, they didn't have it and they had broad or fine, I went the wrong way, um, <laughs> which is a bummer. Uh, but I do love this pen, it's gorgeous. It's just so beautiful. So I'm not gonna get rid of it, but I wouldn't buy it again. And then we have this. This is the uh, Moon Man M2. I love that I could replace the nib, and I did, because it came with a nib that was too fine. So this is a Goulet Pins Medium. Um, why is this on my list? Because it holds so much ink. <laughs> and what I've learned is I like switching out my inks. So when I you when I worked now even when I worked in an in an office, I still like switching my inks. So I have options then, right? I could have pens like this and have multiple pens inked at a time, but like that kind of stresses me out. And then also the ink will like the, the water in it will evaporate and it gets all sludgy and yeah. So I, I don't go through ink quickly enough because I don't have just like one dedicated pen. So as nice as this is to write with, I don't like having, uh, I don't like having that much ink. And also I find it like spits a little bit more and I think it has to do with the barrel getting warm. Could be wrong. Um, but it is a, it writes well and I, oh, the other thing that kind of stinks is the like lack of any roll stop. <laughs> it 
but that wouldn't stop me. And next up, Oh, I taped this together again. My Twisby Swipe in Prussian Blue. And the reason I don't like this one, it has a fine nib. I also, this color blue is not perfect. It's just slightly wrong for me. Well, it's slightly wrong for what I wanted. It's a great color of blue, but I thought it would be different. Oh, by the way, it's like storming outside, so you can probably hear that in case you're wondering. Like, if you hear it and you're like, what the heck is that? It's it's raining really hard. So I like this pen-ish. Oh, except the thing is, do I? Because I'm not going to replace it. I'm not going to get another swipe. I don't like it that much. Um, so this isn't the pen for me. I don't the form factor, but also the really fine nib. Um, this one might be surprising too. So I, I was like, is there any pins that I regret? And not exactly, that's not the right word, but my Walltown Lumley. So the story behind this is I really wanted a Walltown Lumley, like a lot. I love this aesthetic. I love that there's this little window, and I think you could eyedropper it if you want and see ink in there. That would be dope. So I bought it, even though I wasn't 100% sold on the color. And I thought, well, maybe I'll like it more in person. Because I'm not a huge fan of this green. And I don't love it more in person. Now, I do love this pen and it's not going anywhere. <laughs> but I would have waited until he had one in a color that I absolutely loved. So that's like, this taught me an important lesson is I should just wait because there will be another one. There's no hurry. There will be one I like more. But I do love that pen. So please understand, I love it. I just want to rebuy it. Um, then we have this, which is kind of standing in for one pin idea, which is anything with a fine nib. <laughs> so this pin, beautiful, Pilot Metropolitan, I believe, yeah, this is a fine. And somehow I like, when I first started using pen, fountain pens, Reddit convinced me that like I needed the most fine nib ever. I don't know why. So I got this. I love this pen, but as far as like aesthetics, and I remember it writing acceptably, but um, I don't like fine nibs. This Kaveco and Sport and Pink Ice. This has an extra fine nib. Nope. And this Nemesine Singularity. This has a fine nib. Nope. And a coworker snapped my clip off. So, great pins, not great for me. Then we have, I mean, honestly, some of these are expensive mistakes, but my vintage pen, I think I wouldn't repurchase it. I paid a lot for it. I like how petite it is, but it's green. I don't love green. <laughs> it's got gold trim. I don't love gold trim. And it doesn't write perfectly for me. So it makes me sad. Because I really want to love it. And another one in its box. Pilot Custom 912. I love this pen. It's beautiful. Aesthetically, it is gorgeous, and I, fe I fell prey to somebody who's like, you should get this soft fine. It's such a wet and juicy nib. Y'all, I should never get a fine. I should never get a fine. So, that's in the pile to sell. So there we are. I feel like these are some contentious picks. So 
So I have four here that I maybe wouldn't repurchase. Two of which I absolutely love. For different reasons. I love the way this writes. I love the form factor. Don't love the material 100%. I'm at like 70 or 80%. This one, 100% love the material. It actually writes really nicely. It is a very bouncy nib. I suspect because it's held so far back. It's very bouncy. And it's a wonderful writing experience, but it's too fine. So, and then these mostly represent Maria shouldn't buy fine nibs. Now, you may remember that I recently got an extra fine nib. Look, it's fine. I wanted that for good reasons. Asterisk. You may not agree that they're good reasons. Uh, at any rate, I hope you enjoyed this look. This is a rather quick look at 10 pins. Is this actually 10? <laughs> It wound up being 10, but whatever. Um, 10 pins that I would not repurchase. Are you surprised at any of them? Um, would these be on a list of things that you wouldn't repurchase? Would this be? Would these be on a list of things that you're like, holy cow, are you kidding? Those would be on my favorites list. I'm really curious what your thoughts are on this. And again, I wanna stress all of these pins are great, but not great for me. Oh. Wait, there's one pin that I almost forgot to mention because I don't have it anymore. It's my Jinhao 159 because that stupid thing broke. So I wouldn't rebuy it because obviously it was this junk. Also, it was too big, but that's a separate thing. Anyway, so, so glad I remembered that at the last minute totally ruining our train of thought. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you'd like what your thoughts are, which of these you would keep, which of these you would, well, I don't want to say get keep and get rid of, although I am rehoming these, but like, which would you rebuy and which wouldn't? Um, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope that you're having a wonderful day whenever you watch this. Bye.